Almost two months after four law enforcement officers were killed in the Shannon Park shooting in East Charlotte, the medical examiner's office released autopsies today for two of the officers killed. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy joining us here in the studio. And Robin, very important to point out, the autopsies are the only outside review of the April 29th shooting. That's exactly right, Brian and Alicia. The medical examiner, which is separate from Charlotte Mecklenburg Police, did those autopsies, and they seem to show consistency with what CMPD has been telling us. April 29th was one of the deadliest days for law enforcement in the country. The final two autopsies for the four law enforcement officers killed that day in East Charlotte on Galway Drive were just released. The autopsies for all four officers seemed to reveal the shooter fired on them from above at an angle. We have determined that there was only one shooter who fired at officers. No officers were shot or shot at by other officers. The autopsy released Wednesday reveals Deputy U.S. Marshal Thomas Weeks Jr. was killed by a bullet that hit his upper chest and traveled down, cutting his lung and leaving his body. The autopsy for Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Officer Joshua Iyer also released Wednesday shows the bullet that killed Iyer hit him in the back of his chest and went to his stomach. South fire, South fire. The U.S. Marshals Task Force was there to arrest a felon that day. Investigators say the highlighted second floor windows are where the felon fired on officers with an AR-15 for more than 17 minutes from the front and back sides of the house. I need more. We got another officer here. I got four officers down. They got four officers down. Officers took cover and returned fire. Police say other officers were shot by the suspect as they tried to rescue the fallen. At 17 minutes, investigators say the shooter jumped from a second floor window into the front yard where he died. But the shooting continued. Guy in the front yard is down. And there's still somebody inside shooting. Police say that's because an officer saw something move from the second floor window. And officers chose to tactically shoot up, not at one another, for two minutes with what they call suppressive fire. It was intentional gunfire in an upper trajectory at the two windows where they were taking fire. Now, CMPD has body-worn camera video from April 29th, but the U.S. Marshals Task Force does not. Now, marshals in other parts of the country already have those cameras, and I just found out today that the rollout for that in the Carolinas is expected in the next few weeks, so coming up soon. Brian yeah, and we are certainly going to keep following that as well. Robin, thanks.